Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Day five uh, from Teacher to Scholar. Five day mini course on how to help teacherpreneurs, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, you know, uh, anybody that is interested. But primarily in my group, uh, we're talking about teachers here, educators, online educators, who are trying to, you know, create a Facebook profile business. And, you know, it's running a business is, is, is very foreign to a lot of people, you know. It's not just having the funds to create a business and then just, you know, working it as best you can. Um, Creating a business means you're all in, and on the digital uh, space, uh, that's no different than anything else, you know. If you're going to create a business, whether it's on Facebook or on YouTube, uh, a lot of people are using niche apps like Instagram, TikTok, you know, you're all in. Because you're building a business, you're creating a business for a specific purpose. Uh, the problem with that mindset is that the specific purpose that most people are creating a business for is for money. That should not be the purpose. The purpose of creating a business is to help resolve problems, help your dream audience uh, complete a problem that they have, uh, a pain that they have, you know, to resolve their needs. Once you do that and you accomplish that successfully, uh, you will see that the more people that you help, the more money you will make. So the teacher mindset is something that, uh, you know, I say a lot. I talk a lot about, you know, because, uh, you know, if you don't have the right knowledge, the right skill sets and the right attitude to be able to run your, your Facebook profile business successfully, uh, it's just going to be the same thing that we live at a normal life, you know, at a daily basis. Uh, we, we become comfortable and complacent about things, and then we just blame the world why it's not working, and then we start advocating, you know, that's that things don't work for these reasons. And we always have a million reasons why stuff doesn't work. But we don't share that responsibility with others and say that there's one good reason why it can't work. Well, I've given you five days' worth of good reasons and done some, simply because after this fifth video... You know, it doesn't stop. You know, my Facebook profile community continues to grow. I continue to help people. And I continue to be profitable, not because I charge a lot of money. It's simply because I don't charge you anything. I know that's a concept, a mindset that is hard to grasp. But um, if you've seen my videos, day one, two, three, and four, you will already understand what I mean by that. So let's look at day five. This wraps up the five-day mini course. If someone is going down the wrong road, he doesn't need motivation to speed him up. What he needs is education to turn him around. Jim Rohn. The motivation to turn around is education. How do we educate? Well, we have to have knowledge and skills, the right knowledge and skills. You know, everything starts with that. It doesn't start with the greenback. You know, as much money as you have, you can fund any business and hire anybody. Doesn't mean you're a successful businessman. If you're not resolving problems for people who have a need based on what your services are, then you can have a million dollars, a billion dollars. Okay, it's not going to make you any more successful if you're not resolving those problems. Resolving those problems for your customers creates cohesion, creates trust, builds communities, and it keeps you profitable long-term, not short-term. So let me just give you that disclaimer again. This is not a get-rich-quick anything. This is not Ponzi. This is not MLM. This is you versus you. This is me versus me. I still work because I'm passionate about teaching, and I still teach ESL Native English to kids in China. I do but my Facebook profile business in helping teachers resolve their pain, you know, their economic issues, their concerns about being, uh, you know, business people, but not having the, 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 the technology to do it, the free resources to do it, uh, maybe the tech know-how to do it. You know, we, we all got reasons why 
we 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 feel we don't we, we're not getting or accomplishing what we want, and we provide you that for free. We give you all the tools, the resources, you know, the the workshop uh, to be able to do that. And once you have your Facebook profile, you know, set up properly, the way I've explained for the last four days, you know, you can start looking at profitability in a whole different way, you know, because it all starts with helping people. So let's go ahead and look at that. Today's agenda is based on exactly that. When you have a community that you've already built up in your Facebook profile, and most of us have profiles that have 5,000 friends, 4,000 friends, two friends. Doesn't matter whether there's one or 5,000. Facebook caps you off at five. But here's what you need to understand. No one wants to be sold, so don't sell them. Because your Facebook profile community should not be the, 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 the number one reason is to sell. No, it's not. It's to provide help, to provide solutions for the problems that your dream customer has. I'm an educator, so my dream customer are teachers, students, parents of teachers, colleagues, at every level, whether you have a bachelor's, an associate, a master's, a PhD, or a doctorate, doesn't make you a successful person online. Yeah, you are successful by your own academic rights, sure. But we all have the same common denominator issues. We all have problems. We all go hungry. We all, you know, have either a health issue, a mortgage issue, you know, a kid issues, whatever the issue is. We all have them, and they all boil down to one thing, cost. It costs money to resolve problems. It's not going to cost you anything because you're going to provide problem solving to your community for free. You'll get paid along the way. Yes, you will, but not before you resolve that problem. So attraction marketing or direct response marketing, you know, as a digital marketer, you are your own product. You're learning to promote yourself as a highly ethical, high value, you know, teacherpreneur that you're providing an education program, curriculum, lesson plan, whatever it is, free of charge because you're building up a community. You can charge along the way, but the whole thing is building that community. Imagine, for example, if back then, you know, when Einstein was, you know, going through his scientific, you know, theories, his science community, you know, was on his Facebook friends list and he had 5,000 people. Well, based on current analytics, and you can Google this because it's true. Each person on your friends list is worth $1. Yeah. You know, that email that you have is worth $1 on average. So when it comes to direct response marketing, and you're providing solutions to a problem that your community needs, wants, desires, okay, that's worth a dollar. So if Einstein okay, came out back when on his Facebook page and said, look, I got a theory of relativity and I'm going to share with the, my scientific community of 5,000 people. But I'm going to sell you that, you know, theory for a dollar. He just made $5,000 if everybody bought, which they probably would have. Yeah, for one dollar. But I imagine if you have, you know, let's say just 200 people, it relates the same way. Let's say you're Tesla, Nikola Tesla, and you're talking about alternating currents or, 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 or Wi-Fi. Back then, that was like, whoa, witchcraft. Well, Tesla wasn't that popular with his peers, you know, but he had a hell of a, a, hell of a theory with, you know, alternating current, which uh, Westinghouse took a big interest in and a, in, a, in a gamble on him. You know, and let's say he sold that to his only 50 friends and they bought it and they paid a hundred dollars and he just made five grand, right? hundred and to 50. Yeah. Five grand. You know, the whole thing is that you have to understand when you're building a community on your Facebook profile business, 
Okay, each friend that you vet, that you bring into your community to solve their problems based on your services, your your product, your experience, your not your knowledge, you know, they're worth a dollar. And if you're providing high value services and you promote a service, a new product or whatever that you want to promote to your community, chances are they trust you enough to buy it because you're not going to cheat them and you shouldn't. And they're going to pay you a dollar. You just made some money. So I think about it. You know, it's exponential. Okay. People charge exorbitant amounts of money for crazy stuff. And because we want to get rich quick, we pay for it. And we don't get rich quick. And we complain and we cry and blah, blah, blah. You know what? It's not the purpose of building an ethical Facebook group, and I choose that platform because Facebook, and I talk about this a lot, Mark Zuckerberg changed the, the, the philosophy of groups and congregations in the Facebook communities globally that you got to maintain some kind of high ethics and, 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 and you know high value if you want Facebook to send you organic traffic, promote you for free, which they do. They will. The word gets around, and, and it's a large global community. You know that. And everybody congregates in, in, in groups that they trust. They trust the administrators. Why do people trust me? I give away my best product for free. And that's what you should do too. Give them your best product, your best high value every time for free. Why not? You already paid for it. You don't want to repurpose that as you know it's yours and you want to sell it now no give it away for free people will appreciate it so much that when you offer your next low ticket product for seven dollars if you have five thousand people in your facebook group okay your friends list and you're selling them a five dollar seven dollar product that they buy from you you just made $35,000 on a $7 product. If you only get 1% of that, so what? 5,000 people, okay, 50 people at $7, you just made 350 bucks. Simple math. Every math teacher here who has some kind of secret weapon, program, curriculum, product, digital know-how that they want to sell to the masses, well, guess what? If it's worth a million bucks and you got 5,000 people, you know, who will buy it for you at a million bucks, okay, how much is that? That's $5 billion. Wow. You're going to be the first mass teacher on the planet who's worth $5 billion. And you probably sell out in an hour. Imagine doing that. That's just bizarre, right? But that's not the point. If you're not providing high value, if you're not providing high quality, over-delivered, free, you know, services to your community, why would you even expect them to buy from you when you promote something? I wouldn't. I, you know, you, you, just, you just shouldn't. Because... I, you know, you start to lose trust in that person. You start to lose trust in that community. Word gets around quicker than you can say WTF. And why would you want to start and risk losing your business for being greedy? <coughs> why not be smart? Create value. You know, offer help, support, you know, and, and just help collaborate the success of your community. Over the long term, that's a big win for you and for them. Yeah. So don't do that. Because offering a low ticket product, whether it's a lesson plan, whether it's a curriculum, a syllabus, whether it's a PowerPoint presentation that you did, you know, to set people up for to learn how to how to pass their, let's say, TESOL, uh, TEFL certifications to teach online, you know, anything like that. Okay. People will trust and buy your advice your information because the biggest currency 
right now is not Bitcoin. Okay, the biggest digital currency right now is information. Valuable, high integrity, okay, information that resolves people's problems. Now that, okay, people will pay for it. Don't sell people a fake dream, a false dream, false promises, you know, high expectations of something that, that's going to cost them money, make you rich, and make them poor. That's not the way to do it. Yeah, it really isn't. Yeah, I know. It, it's a mindset that, that escapes a lot of people because we are so conditioned to believe we got to work, sell the product, and, and, and it's a one-time offer kind of thing. It's a hit and run. No. Not like that. Because once you establish that credibility, you know, there are things that are always a lot more expensive as well. Look, I'm working on a digital product myself. I, I, I think that data encryption and be a, being able to protect secrets, being able to, you know, encrypt and protect digital currency or anything else that's of value to a person individually or as a group or as a company. They will pay for it. You know, I started my career in voice and data networks in 1998, right? And I went to school, and my first job in 1999 was at a help desk uh, in a small telecom in Miami, Florida, called the uh, Caracol Corporation. And they, they, they broke down. You know, they, they went bankrupt 18 months into me being there. I learned a lot my first 18 months. But they went bankrupt. You know why? Because the two partners... Right, two interesting guys. Um, they couldn't see out of why money. Greed got in the way. Because when you work in telecom, as I learned, you learn to broker uh, telephone calls over the internet. You buy and sell telephone calls. That's an asset. It's a very good asset. And you buy these assets, telephone calls, uh, at pennies on the dollar. You know, For example, in 2002... I funded an LLC called Deteca, Inter uh, Deteca International Group. And I have my one partner, US side. And we refurbished uh, telecom equipment, compression equipment, digital comp uh, compression equipment, where we were uh, taking a digital signal, compressing it. And we were able to deliver on a single telephone line, okay, a 1.544 megabit circuit. Uh, 240 regular phone calls, tall quality, like you are talking on the phone on AT&T's backbone. And we were buying uh, calls, okay, to Albania. So we were getting them from a tier two carrier, a broker. And I think we were paying something like uh, six cents a second, uh, six cents a minute for these calls. But we were selling them. For eight cents, we were making two cents. Yeah, I think it was a two cent profit. This was back in 2002. But here's the thing. We were doing about two million minutes a month successfully. We, we, we started running and scaling and, and we, we reached two, two million minutes a month. We were earning 50,000 a month as a company and that was like, wow. That was nothing, that was a two man operation. The company that I worked for that went bankrupt, they were, they were doing about a million dollars a month. That was small peanuts. So why am I telling you all this? Because they went bankrupt because they got greedy. They got greedy because they weren't focusing on the big picture, solving problems. So when we talk about high-ticket products, if you're going to offer somebody a high-ticket product, $10,000, $100,000, $500, okay, you want to be highly ethical about it, all right? When you promote a product that you create, that you affiliate with, you want to, first of all, be a believer of that product. You want to use that product. If it's your own product, you want to be able to support that product, you know, ethically, etc. Back in the early 2000s, okay, big companies, okay, like Cisco, for example, Juniper, Microsoft, IBM, you know, these were companies that were buying network gear, 50,000 a pop, 100,000 a pop. And when you populate these boxes, you know, to commit, to do digital transmissions over the internet, um, man, they were spending and investing a million dollars on each one. 
That's a lot of money, you know, so that they can generate more money, provide the kind of internet backbone services that we have now. You know, 3G, 4G came about because of all these investments. But, you know, the manufacturers of these products, they were saying, yeah, it's going to cost you an empty chassis. is going to cost you 50 grand. They would buy it. And the accessories to it to scale it up was another, you know, 50 grand. Now they're spending 100 grand on one box. And they'd buy 10 of them, 100 of them, 1,000 of them at a time. That's huge money. So when you get to the point with your Facebook profile that you want to promote your own product, you want to create your own product, like I'm doing. Okay, you want to be able to understand your dream customer. You want to be able to understand you know, their economic status. So that if you are going to promote a high ticket product of $2,497, it's because your dream customer, they're not going to scoff at that. They're going to be like, yeah, I can, you're solving my problem for that kind of money. I'm going to pay for that. And if you have a thousand people on Facebook, on your list, on your community, that trust, believes in your product, believes in you because you've worked to develop that kind of high integrity, well, a thousand, you do the math. That's a, that's a lot of money. And, 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 you know, you don't have to sell a lot of $1 products to make a million dollars. You want to sell $1 million product a month to make a million dollars. But that doesn't happen overnight, you know. You, you got you to gotta build up that momentum. You got you to gotta build up that trust. You got to build up that community. You, you got to be able to, you know, relate to your people at a personal level, at a deep personal level. You know, you got to be able to resolve the pain that they have so that it, it, the value of your product doesn't even factor into the conversation. That's something that a lot of us don't understand because that's a mindset, right? You have to learn to adapt that way of thinking. You want to provide your free service first and you want to give it away. Give them away your highest value. What do you care? You already paid for it. Let somebody else benefit from what you paid for and help them rise up. If you're creating other services in between in your community, charge them seven dollars, ten dollars. Don't get don't get bizarre. Why? Look, I still work. I still work for these people. I still teach from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. in the mornings. I still make a decent income doing what I'm passionate about, teaching ESL English to kids in China. But in my community, you know, I give away a lot of what I learned and I pay for. I give away books, I give away lesson plans, high quality stuff, you know. And on occasion, okay, I offer the $7 product. Look, I promote as an affiliate marketer click funnels. Because that's my web builder of choice. And actually, I believe, strongly believe, it's the number one best product out there if you want to create your digital product. Facebook gives you the platform with 2 billion people, and they organically will promote your product if you're highly ethical and you're building a quality community in your group. You need a, you need a ClickFunnelBook.com secrets, Traffic secrets, expert secrets. You can get it for seven bucks, or you can get it for a fourteen-day free trial in ClickFunnels. You can join the one funnel away challenge, which is a hundred dollars for a thirty-day, you know, uh, really intense, super detailed, okay, funnel away challenge that'll teach you everything that you need to know about digital marketing yourself. I went through that. I thought it was great. Or you can join. My free or our free, okay, my mentors, 100% free, sales funnel mastery, you know, workshop. Five days, one hour a day, September 21st, 100% free. My mentor is a dream car winner with ClickFunnels. He paid $100 for his course, you know, for 30 days. He got his master's degree, you know, in digital marketing. But that didn't happen overnight. My mentor went through a two-year process, 18-month process, something like that. We all do. It's a learning curve. But he has provided all his paid resources 
to his group. And when it's time for you to pay for more education, you will, because you're already going to be making a little bit of money that will afford that for you. It's not going to be a stretch, but you don't have to think about that right now. Your priority is to create a Facebook profile that you create a, an amazing free service for people that you want to help your dream customer. You want to be profitable. You provide help. You provide solutions to problems that your dream customer is having for free. You give away your best stuff for free. Why not? You already paid for it. Over and above that, make some money as an affiliate marketer with ClickFunnels. Why not? Your customer, your community will trust you enough anyway, okay, to want to look into it. And they have a choice. They can choose that web builder or choose any other one. They don't have to choose ClickFunnels. But why not choose ClickFunnels? It's the number one. They're the pioneers. They're the ones who created the funnel, you know, technology. And websites are dead. The old website concept is dead. The old shopping cart is dead. You want to create your info product? ClickFunnels has your environment. Webinar, e-commerce site, you know, blogging, um, affiliate marketing, all in one environment. ClickFunnels gives you that. So you want to be able to, you know, generate, you know, your, 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 your gut, your, you know, your, what do I want to say here? You know, you want to create that community, you know, cohesion. And you want to give away your free stuff as you promote five ways to monetize your business, which I just mentioned, designing, you know, uh, uh, funnels for teachers or students. You know, maybe you want to sell info products. That's your curriculum, your lesson plans, you know, a syllabus. Uh, maybe you want to teach people how to study and pass you know, for a master's degree, your your TESOL certifications, maybe you authored a book and you want to do an e-commerce, you know, funnel, you know, and offer that to the masses. You know, there's, there's so many ways to monetize your Facebook profile without you having to spend on ads. All you got to do as a business is put in the hard work. Get involved. Get your elbows in there, you know. Because that's what's going to benefit you in the long run. And in the long run, you're going to probably end up in a collaboration with somebody else. And, and you're going to have a meeting of the minds and say, wow, we got a product here that we can produce too that will solve a lot of problems. And you're going to put a set figure on it. And chances are your dream customers have been looking for that. And they're going to be like, wow, I want that. They'll pay for it. They'll pay for it because they trust you. Not because your product Look, you can sell a product all day long. How many of you have gone shopping for a Highline vehicle, 50 grand or more? And there's a lot of Highline vehicles for 50,000 or more. And you've shopped every dealer, every brand and model A to Z for about a year. And the only reason why you didn't make a spot decision is because you really couldn't trust the person who was selling you that vehicle or that dealership or their service department they're they're the worst they're, they're a lot of service departments they really suck but then you end up buying the one that actually sold you based on high value high customer service you know they gave you a couple of free things you know that all right hyundai has been known for that we'll give you oil changes for free for life as long as you as long as you own the car i had a nice hyundai and, and man do i miss it uh, the Hyundai uh, Tucson, man, it was it was just awesome. But you get what I'm trying to say. Your digital online business as a teacherpreneur requires you to provide high value, high services. You want to sell a high ticket product and make a million bucks. You provide the high service, the high quality, you know, community of trust before you even offer a dollar. It's just that simple. So we teach you how to do that. So at the end of the day, all right, September 21st, there is going to be the next Sales Funnel Mastery five-day free workshop. You don't pay nothing for that, all right? It's paid for for you, 
all you gotta do i'm gonna put the link on the video it'll be there click on it register it that's all you gotta do show up because if your desire all right is to rise up above you know the job the job the just over broke if you have five thousand people a thousand people on your friends list and you're not monetizing that, your talents, your experience, whatever you can provide them to solve their problems, you know, then this is not for you. But if your desire is to do that and you want to put your elbows, you know, to the grind and you want to you want to develop that meaningful community that you're helping people, get involved. It's a free workshop. Teachers, you're not exempt. All right, we all have that pain. You I got you got student loans, you got health care issues, health insurance issues, you know, you have mortgages, 401k issues. Man, the future is uncertain for so many, if anything, everybody. The digital era affords you an opportunity to get involved with the best platform right now to do it, Facebook. Now they've been around for 10 years, but like everything else that dies there's always going to be somebody new that comes along but right now this is the platform all right to be able to promote yourself to be able to have the exposure <coughs> and all organically you don't have to pay for an ad you just got to do the hard work <coughs> excuse me and create a trustworthy community and provide high value oh i needed that so no one wants to be sold. Don't do it. Give away your best product for free. You should. You already paid for it. Why do you want to repurpose that and try to try to make money off of it? Like they do in schools, right? You know, you buy a $400 book. You mark the hell out of it. You use it for two years. Then you, you give it up to the uh, used book department. You know what I'm talking about. You buy that used book. It costs you $200. Like, what the hell is that? You don't know if whatever's written in there is correct. For what? Give it away. You already paid for it. Start to offer affiliate, you know, products at a low budget that'll help people continue to grow, help you continue to grow, or offer your own product at a low budget. You know, one dollar, two dollars, seven dollars. Nobody's gonna scoff at that if it's high value. Create a product that's worthy of a high price ticket, you know that you support, that your community supports, that you solve problems with. And then you can come back and thank me and say, you know what? Yeah, I'm glad I listened to you. You know, because if I can do it, you can do it. But you cannot do it unless you have that mindset. You know, you can lead a horse to water. You can't make him do the cha-cha. That is so true forever. All right? Stubborn is as stubborn does. If you cannot or will not adapt the correct mindset, doesn't matter how much information you have, it's not going to help you. It's not going to help others. Because this is not about you. This is about other people. If you want to help people, you want to have a successful community that is profitable, you will help people first and adapt that mindset. You know, if not, you're just spinning your wheels and you don't have to reinvent the wheel you just have to model the success that everybody else is having and inspire people to do the same in saying that i want to thank you for joining me it's been five days five videos on youtube on my facebook uh, page from teacher to scholar whatever questions you have concerns that's your homework assignment leave them for me tell me about it I want to be able to address them and help you debunk your concerns. You know, moving forward, you are more than welcome to visit my page from teacher to scholar. You know, leave a comment there, leave a comment on face on, on um, my YouTube channel, and I am going to continue to try to develop high quality content for free, so that you can have a leg up and an advantage with the right mindset. Thank you again for taking the time to see my five-day uh, agenda. And I look, look forward to seeing you on Facebook. Have a great day.